power of praying feeling is the prayer and that's what we forgot so praying is not about that we need to go to a certain place to practice the praying it's about how we feel inside our body and that's what we forgot on our journey through the years and ancient civilizations knew that and scientists now can show that this truly works so let's dig deep into how actually praying works i've made this video a few weeks ago and this one will be a little bit more precise about praying and about power of praying so let's dig in embracing this principle that feeling is the prayer we're given the, the great secret to having every prayer answered without fail. The key is that we must become the very things that we choose to experience in our lives. If we're looking for love, compassion, understanding and nurturing it in our lives, we must develop thus very qualities within ourselves so that the mind of God can mirror them back to us in our relationships. If we want abundance, we must feel gratitude for the abundance that already exists in our lives. Between knowing this and knowing of the hidden power of the praying the great question here is how do we put this thing to work in our lives ancient traditions remind us that the world around us is nothing more and nothing less than the mirror of what we've become in our lives what we feel about our relationships with ourselves one another and ultimately God. Scientific evidence now suggests precisely the same thing. What we feel inside our bodies is carried into the world beyond our bodies. The foundation of everything that we are saying here is that the world of prayers themselves are not the prayers. While the words may be beautiful, ancient and time-honored relics, there is simply the catalyze to unleash a force. And the force is within you. You is the operative word here. Just as the code is a computer sets a series of events into motion, our words trigger feelings in our body. But neither the code nor the words have any power until they are given meaning. For the code, it's the computer's operating system. For our words, it's our feelings. Prayers are truly personal. The words that trigger a powerful feeling of gratitude or appreciation for me may not be as effective for you so you need to find your own prayers that will work for you which means the own prayers which will turn on the certain feelings so this is where you can have fun with prayers create your own find the special words that are meaningful to you and you alone to serve you as a sacred and sacred prayer that's between you and the God or the universe or whatever you want to call it. A prayer could be as simple as a single statement that whether you're praying about is already accomplished. An example of this kind of prayer might be a simple phrase that you can say to yourself each time you close the car door and turn on the ignition to go somewhere. 
I give thanks for a safe journey and a safe return can be one of them. While you state your prayer, feel the feeling of gratitude as if your journey were already complete. To empower your prayer with the senses, you would see yourself doing something when you returned home, like taking the groceries out of the trunk and stacking canned goods in the cabinet or putting lettuce in the crisper. The key is that you can only take the groceries out of the car and put them away if you're back home. In this way you've set the powerful intention of a safe journey by feeling as if it has already happened. It said that the Dalai Lama used such a prayer as he began the treacherous journey that led him from his home to exil across the rugged mountains that separates Tibet from India. I see a safe journey, he said, every time he traveled. The important point is to give thanks for the feeling they create, to give thanks to the feelings that your prayers will create. And that's how it works. While it may sound too simple, scientists believe that the world works in this way. Creation responds to what we become and to what we feel.